Fall asleep fast in tonight's relaxing sleep story for grown-ups. You are listening to The Waterfall Cottage, a calm bedtime story to help you use your imagination to self-soothe before slumber. Have you been longing to connect more with nature? Tucked in the forest is a storybook cottage built before a waterfall. Cascading water offers an oasis where the light transforms throughout the day to create an ever-changing and dramatic display. You set out on a walk through the foggy woods in the morning and enjoy an afternoon picnic on a knoll covered in wildflowers. Come nightfall, you return to the waterfall cottage and drift asleep to the soporific sounds of falling water. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, think of me as your friend and ally for serenity and sleep. Sometimes the demands of life make it easy to forget your utmost needs. But as your advocate for a blissful and comfortable life, I am here to remind you to check in with yourself as you wind down. One thought may transport you to the most beautiful, soothing settings the mind can conjure. Your creative mind is the generator of every pleasant moment of decompression. Customize each detail to fit your needs and desires. You may let go of my voice and fall asleep whenever you like. In the sanctuary of your mind, body, and room, You are safe to be your most authentic self. There is no room for judgment or concerns. When you close your eyes, you close yourself off from the noise and charades of the outside world. Sink into your bed. And as everything becomes easy, You float from one idea to the next, like a log bobbing downstream. You yield to the tide of comfort and peace that washes over you. Open your mouth into a big yawn, fake it if you must. But soon yawning comes easy and indicates how sleepy you are and primed for rest. Exhale in a sigh that relieves you of the day. The sigh is a protective barrier between all that has come before as you drift towards the magic that awaits. Slowly inhale through your nose to prepare the air for your throat and lungs by filtering and warming it. Feel your chest rise as your lungs expand until they are full. Open your mouth again in a yawn. Make a sound. Claim this moment for the sacred time that it is. Be generous to yourself as you sigh and let everything out. All the things that do not serve your intention for bliss are carried away on this breath out into the night. Follow this breathing pattern one more time and change it in any way that feels best for you. As you do, Imagine the air flows like the crystalline water of a waterfall. 
Your body expands and contracts with fluidity. You return to the most natural state a human body is meant to enjoy. One of peace, alignment, connected with nature. You are perfectly prepared for the journey to come as the story begins. Someone once said, a strong person and a waterfall always carve their own path. There was once an architect who never quite considered herself an architect in a professional sense. She was mainly self-taught, although she had always been creative and inventive. She wasn't drawn to labels or achievements. She was drawn to the feelings one could experience when cast in the right light, nestled in a cozy alcove, overlooking serene landscapes. To her, life was about connection and healing, not prizes and accolades. Her motto was, if one must disrupt nature and create something that will last, then that something must be more pleasing than the original state. And while beauty can be subjective, feeling safe and blissful was a universal experience that led her to every decision and creation. In the middle of the 20th century, at a time when female architects were few, she slipped away into the woods on a solo retreat. On this sojourn, she discovered the perfect place in nature, within a wooded area surrounded by rolling hills and mountains. She followed a babbling stream, walking barefoot on the lushest green moss and the silkiest grass she had ever encountered. The stream led her to a waterfall, cascading down metallic ebony rocks in a misty band. Golden sunlight filtered through maple trees, and hundreds of tiny rainbows formed. She stood in the clearing where her waterfall cottage would be built as a voice inside her rose to say, this is home. And so you find yourself, many decades later, on a getaway to the waterfall cottage. A series of fortunate events led you to this mystical retreat in the heart of the woods. You rise early on a temperate morning and enjoy your favorite morning beverage on the second deck of the forest home, designed like blocks stacked atop one another and three stories high. The waterfall cottage has a dozen decks and Juliet balconies, as well as a rooftop garden with fresh berries, squashes, tomatoes, herbs, and sunflowers. The quirky design would fit perfectly in Alice in Wonderland. Floor-to-ceiling windows face the waterfall and woods, so tranquilizing views may be enjoyed from common areas and bedroom suites. You revel in the purity of the cottage, with its clean lines and design. Wood-paneled alcoves offer nooks for reading and enjoying tea or coffee on rainy and snowy afternoons. But days like these, on the cusp of autumn, make you long to be outside in nature. A soft morning breeze carries the waterfall mist to the deck and kisses your skin with a tingling sensation. 
Sunlight filters through white birch trees that cast shade on the deck. Bamboo chairs surround a circular glass top table tinted with an aquamarine shade that blends with the harmonious blues and greens of the stream and flora. Part of you wishes you could stay in this moment forever. It is full of purity. The air is cool and clean with aromatic layers of cedar, blue spruce, sweet fertile earth, and fresh water. Music of your choice plays from outdoor speakers softly buried beneath the sounds of the forest. The songs of birds announce to one another. They are still here for yet another glorious morning. The rushing water sounds like susurrating distant thunder with aquatic whispers that you like to pretend Hold the secrets of the forest. You are dressed for the day in soft clothes, comfortable for lounging on a day without an agenda. You rise out of the chair and do some stretches in a shower of sunlight, releasing any tightness in your body left over from a night of deep sleep. You are more relaxed than you have felt in a very long time, and your body adapts by taking on the flexibility of a sapling. You look down onto the stream and watch as a frog hops across slick silvery blue stones. A lavender white fog lethargically moves across the forest floor, gauzy and dreamlike, fading through the morning hours. You open the sliding glass doors that lead into the lofty open air dining room and living area. The walls are made of reclaimed wood and fallen trees salvaged by the architect. Each wood board could tell a story about its journey to the cottage that gave it new life. The wood planks vary in shades of coppery brown and chestnut, shiny and lacquered with grains that swirl whimsically through the wood in darker shades. The home is accented with rugs, paintings, and blankets in brilliant shades of blues and greens with pops of red, orange, and magenta. In the center of the living room, a white wood stove is suspended from the ceiling. The exposed porcelain chimney reaches towards the high ceilings like the white birch trees reach for the sky on the other side of the windows. Skylights reveal the highest branches of the birch trees and the top of the waterfall. Many details inside the cottage mirror the beauty outside in nature. Small nooks and alcoves are similar to tree hollows where squirrels and raccoons seek respite. You gather a picnic backpack from the kitchen, pre-packed with your favorite snacks and drink, to set out for a walk in the woods. You glide down the floating wooden stairs that cascade through the three levels of the home like waterfalls. 
They offer clean lines and open spaces where light pours through. You exit the front door to a wavy pathway comprised of stones once gathered from the stream bank. From above, it looks as though the water turns to stone as it leads to the house. You walk to the stream and follow it towards the waterfall. The babbling water looks like liquefied nickel that winds around the property. The sound of thundering falling water causes the earth to gently vibrate. As you carefully walk through the shallow stream and find your balance. The cold water travels through the openings of your athletic sandals that grip the stones and help you balance. The current massages the soles of your feet and pulsing water slips between your toes as if preparing them for the walk ahead. You climb onto a mossy patch of earth that leads to naturally formed stairs that wind around the waterfall. You ascend slowly and are conscious of all that is happening in this moment. The path leads you behind the waterfall where you stand and observe it from a new vantage point. You reach out an open palm into the rushing water and feel a moment of surprise by the chill and temperature. The mist lands on your face like morning dew and you feel alive, curious, and content. You tune into the sound of your breath and the rustling of trees. You take note of the waterfall mist and fog on your exposed skin. You continue to ascend up the stairs as small twigs and decaying leaves crunch beneath your feet as they land on the pillowy, damp earth. Rust-colored pine needles stick to the sides of the rubber soles of your sandals. You find balance with ease as you ascend higher and higher up. The waterfall remains in your peripheral vision and the waterfall cottage stands behind you like a reverie, as whimsical as a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. It will wait for your return at sunset. You reach the rock summit atop the waterfall that is layered in vibrant green moss, plush as a carpet beneath your feet. Clusters of puff mushrooms and golden chanterelles with petal-like caps scatter the earth. You stand above the waterfall and look down into the stream. Mist rises towards the clear blue sky. As you stand and feel the prismatic spray rise, you imagine this to be the transitional space where these droplets journey towards the sky to condense into clouds. How often have you found yourself in the in-between 
So many transitions occur naturally throughout the day. From one breath to the next. From morning to afternoon. From your waking life to your sleeping life. They come with grace and are often unacknowledged. But atop the waterfall, you look out at the woods and rolling hills in the distance. Purple slate gray mountains surround the landscape as protective barriers, offering an escape from the modern world. As you take in a deep breath and sigh, this moment feels timeless. Disconnected from your daily tasks and labels of society, you feel free in the woods. You wonder if this is how the architect felt when her pencil drafted the first plans for the waterfall cottage. Sometimes the most beautiful creations come out of deep longing and sadness. These moments are the unexpected stepping stones to richer and better experiences. They are the impetus for change, growth, and renewal. The sun rises above the tree line and you bask in its warmth as you resume your walk through the woods. Two chipmunks playfully run across the path toppling over pine cones that roll towards your feet in their wake. You pick one up to run your fingers across its ridges and inhale the fragrance before tossing it back on the earth. You see a monarch butterfly hovering above the slender stamens of tiger lilies at times the orange and black pattern on the wings blends into the orange petals. For some reason you are drawn to the butterfly and decide to follow it through the woods. You watch its wings flutter as it changes elevation, sometimes flying high overhead while other times dipping down towards the land covered in pine needles, moss, and feathery grass. The sunlight intensifies as the monarch leads you to a clearing where you discover the perfect knoll to have a picnic on. The velvety grass rises above your ankles dappled with wildflowers in shades of violet, lavender blue, yellow, ivory, and bright pink. You remove your sandals to feel the plush flora beneath your feet. Waxy blades of grass thread between your toes and cushion each step as you walk to the top of the small hill. You remove a flannel blue and white plaid blanket from your backpack and unfold it. The fabric billows in the breeze and falls onto the earth like a parachute during a perfect landing. You place the backpack on the edge of the blanket and sit in the center. The monarch continues to circle you, occasionally landing on wildflowers that surround the edge of the blanket. You enjoy the treats packed for this picnic. The fragrant notes and tastes on your palate 
are enhanced by the awe-inspiring majesty of the clearing. You may consume these items again. And when you do, each smell and taste will reignite the sense of peace you feel in this moment. Even if all moments to come will never be exactly the same. Satiated, you lie back on the blanket and look at the sky. White, puffy clouds roll by, offering shade and a reprieve from the sun's heat when the rays become too much. The sun reveals itself when you long for its warmth. And the delicate dance of the clouds continues throughout the afternoon to offer the most pleasant feeling. It feels good to be in your skin, comforted by the soft flannel of the picnic blanket as the breeze brushes against you like a soothing hand. With your fingers clasped behind your head like a basket, you watch the clouds and make out the formations. Your eyes blear and the clouds begin to look like a parade of animals across the powdery blue sky. You make out an elephant and giraffe and other animals that amuse you. It feels good to be playful and embrace the dreaminess of the afternoon. Hours pass and you lose track of time as the sun dips toward the horizon. The air becomes cooler as you pack up and prepare to return home. It's hard to believe, but the same monarch flies near one last time as if to say goodbye before it flutters in the opposite direction. Do you wish it well? knowing soon it will take a long journey to migrate south for the winter. You return to the forest as the cicadas become quiet and crickets sing out their sunset tunes. Fiery, saturated, marmalade sunlight pours around the tree trunks like clover honey. The return to the waterfall cottage feels shorter, now the path is more familiar. A tiny brown bunny hops along the path and pauses for a moment to make eye contact before disappearing into the woods. A loveliness of ladybugs climbs around the smooth trunk of a maple tree. The deep green leaves will transition into a flaming red in a month or two, but now retain the verdant hue of summer. You arrive at the cottage in time for sunset. With a refreshing drink in hand, you climb to the roof and rest on a chase lounge at the edge of the garden. Sage, mint, and basil aromatize the air that sparkles in the last of the sunlight. The waterfall reflects the pinks and oranges of the sunset skies with hundreds of tiny rainbows dancing in the mist. The richest and warmest hues of the day appear in the honeyed light. 
you inhale deeply and feel your chest expand with gratitude for this day as the sun disappears. The sky retains vibrant bands of aubergine, violet, magenta, and sherbet orange as wispy cotton candy clouds drift overhead. Tree frogs sing along with the gentle hush of the falling water and gurgling stream. As twilight sets in, the night air becomes brisk. An owl perched in the center of a cedar tree hoots, and the sound reverberates across the water. You descend to the living room as the stars come out to play. A nearly full moon rises over the waterfall, casting the landscape in silvery light. Through the skylights, barely visible moonbows appear in the mist, so faint they could be imagined. You ignite the kindling in the belly of the wood stove and inhale the sweet musky aroma of melting pine sap and charred wood. The small pieces catch and you add a log from the ivory log rack. The hisses, pops, and crackles evoke memories of campfire gatherings and winter scenes from beloved stories you once heard. The flames reflect on the glass doors and create a mirage appearing as though they are dancing inside the waterfall on the other side of the windows. You allow yourself to be swept up by this visual of fire and water coexisting in harmony. The flames flicker and dance as the water rushes toward the earth. The moon rises above the skylight and you bathe in its silvery glow as the fire casts you in golden light. You are captivated by the luminescence of silver and gold. You settle on a custom-made sofa and prop turquoise and mint green satin throw pillows behind your head. You lose yourself in the persistent whispers of the waterfall and staccato pops and crackles of burning wood. You feel as if you are in a safe capsule in the middle of the woods. You watch as a white-tailed deer and her white-spotted fawn approach the stream just beyond the cascading water. Their bubblegum pink tongues lap up the flowing water with delicate flicks and reflect the moonlight. Your presence goes unnoticed and so nature gathers around the waterfall cottage feeling as safe as you do. Your mind drifts towards the woman who built this home to save herself and over many decades offered an escape for many souls to visit and restore themselves. Your body feels heavy and tired your mind drifts towards slumber. You nearly fall asleep a few times on the comfortable sofa. 
before you realize it is best to go to bed. This delightful home, surrounded by water and trees, moonlight and rainbows, offers the ideal sanctuary for good dreams to come. You climb the floating stairs, ascending one by one to a heavenly bedroom suite. You prepare yourself in the adjoining bathroom and enjoy a brief shower with a rainfall shower head that cascades warm waters over your scalp, your face, and shoulders that cascades warm water over your scalp, face, and shoulders. You wash with a botanical soap with fragrant notes that remind you of your forest walk. The creamy lather moisturizes your skin, washing away dirt and salt. The cobalt blue marble tiles of the shower glisten in the moonlight that pours through the skylights. As you cleanse yourself of the day, you look at the indigo blue sky and glittering stars to make out the Big Dipper. You close your eyes and imagine being beneath the waterfall taking in the enchantment of nightfall. You inhale deeply, and your chest falls in a sigh. Every muscle and tendon in your body feels loose and easy. You turn off the shower and step onto a soft, quilted bath mat and bury your face in a downy towel. You inhale the clean aroma of the linen and dry the rest of your body. The last moments before slumber are met with a methodical routine crafted over a lifetime, allowing you to feel safe intended to. The minty toothpaste, the soft pajamas, the peeling back of the quilt and sheets, and the sinking of your head into the pillows. These things have happened hundreds of times before, but feel unique with the newness of the waterfall cottage. You simply feel good as you sink into the bed, surrounded by four wooden posts that reach towards the cathedral ceiling and sky. As your heavy eyelids fall on your tired eyes, you imagine the bed flying through the night sky ducking beneath the waterfall and then flying over the woods, traveling far away to an uplifting dreamscape. You open yourself to the possibility of enchanting dreams, ushering you through the night as you drift deeper and deeper down, surrendering to the majesty and peace found in the waterfall cottage, floating with the ease of a maple leaf drifting downstream. Embracing the softness of this moment as you let go. 
The night taps into the wonders of the sanctuary of your mind. And as you drift to sleep, you are kept within the safest place you may ever be. The body that knows you best. Finding bliss. Finding peace. Finding rest, finding sleep, it's time to dream away.